You are listening to Grammy's Rocket Chair on RLM Radio. The girl of your dreams has got to be in some bar. Sorry, boys and girls, but this is X-rated. So if you're under 18... Get out, get the point. Good. Now, Fend over. Y'all ready for this? We do it all night long. And now, your host, Grammy. Hey there, hi there, ho there, everybody. And guess what? It is a wacka 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 doodle Wednesday. And out here in Grammy land, it's a little on the chilly side, but you know what? The snow that we got last night is already actually looking like it's trying to melt. It's weird. Of course, you know, this is Can's ass. We always have weird weather. If you don't like it, wait five minutes, it'll change. Oh, well, you are listening to me here on RealLibertyMedia.com, Channel 10, also on the RLM Spreaker channel. And, by the way, if you are listening in on Spreaker, please come on over to RealLibertyMedia.com. Think of a nickname, join the chat, because, quite frankly, I got crap internet, and, uh, yeah, I can't chat with you over there. So if you give me, you know, some heads up or pointers or just say anything over there, I won't see it till I'm done and getting ready to write, write my blog. So, sorry. I just plain, I can't do it, Captain. I ain't got no power. <coughs> Excuse me. Had a frog crawl in there and decided it wanted to croak. In any case, let's see. Over here on Twitter, guess what? Guess what? Guess what? Guess what? I have breached the 700 mark. <laughs> I'm now in the 700 club. Wow. Bet they didn't want me in there. <laughs> I now have 707 followers. And one of them's my baby sis. I found her over on Twitter. She's been on here since uh, 2015. And I didn't even know it. Gosh darn it all. I'll bet she's not quite as obnoxious as I am on here. <laughs> Just saying. Oh well, thank you Barman for tweeting me out over here. I really do appreciate it. And let's see, where else do I need to go? Over on Fakey Book, I've seen happy birthday to my cousin Donna down in Oklahoma. It is her birthday today. She's um, just a few months older than me. <laughs> so she's older than me now. <laughs> oh, well, I won't rub it in too bad. Um, over here on Mines. Hey, everybody over here on Mines and Barman. Thank you if you if you shared it over here. I didn't go snooping because, well, I was somewhat distracted. But, yeah. Hi, Mines. How are y'all doing? Over on RealLiberty.org, I see Rob Works and Bobby Bain and Mental Pancakes. Hey, Pancakes! And Grimner are all over here. And thank you, Grimmy, for letting everybody know that I am live over here on the RealLiberty.org site. Over here on Freedoms Network, that wonderful effing site. Um, yeah, it's Grimmy again, as well as Katie Troxel, Estrella, and Chris of the Family Masters. Hey there, hi there, ho there, everybody. I hope you're having an absolutely wonderful Wednesday. Doesn't necessarily have to be wackadoodle. Although, you know, if you pay attention to anything in the news of late, it just keeps getting more and more wackadoodly. It really does. I have no idea what the heck's going on here, but man, man, people are like in overachiever mode when it comes to being just whacked or insane in the membrane, however you wish to look at it. Truth or UFO over here on Twitter. Your ancient wisdom is needed in these modern times. Uh -huh. Yes, not the ancient Chinese secret kind either. Just saying, for those of you that are old enough to remember that commercial. Okay, let's see. Who are... Who's evil? Who's evil? Evil. Um, oh, I don't remember telling you you're evil, but hey, hmm, whatever. Um, let's see, now that I, let's see, I've been to Twitter, I've been to Fakey Book, I've been to 
RLO, I've been to F on site, I've been to mines. I guess that means I need to go over to the place you need to be if you want to give me static. Over here on Real Liberty Media in their chat room. And right up top, I see Barman, the most splendiferous bot in the whole wide world. By the way, Rob, I stole that article that you posted. Well, I didn't really steal it, but yeah, I, uh, I'm going to do that. <laughs> Oh, well, I know, Rob, 700 fake friends and a sister. <laughs> Isn't it cool? That's okay. And you know what? Quite a few of them, English is not their first language, which I think I've said that before, but that's okay. You know, there's all kinds of languages in this world, and I think that's half the problem is there's so many people out there that they're trying to get their point across, but they just plain ain't speaking the same language, even if they are, because it, it's all in the interpretation. Mind games, word games, World War Three is here. In any case, back to saying, hey... Moosey's sharing pictures like crazy of her being inundated by all this global warming. Um, yeah, Grimmy is here. Hey, Grim, he is the RLM god, don't you know? The lovely Moose Goyle is also here, and she's letting us all know just how much fun she's having with all of that white stuff. The angels have dandruff, honey. That's what my girls used to say. Either that, or they were having pin pillow fights, and that's the innards of the pillows that flew all over the place. They need to stop either scratching their scalp or playing with the bedding. One of the two, because I think you've had enough, honey. I really do. Okay. Also over here in the RLM, I see DC is here as well as Anti and Asmo, Mr. Asmodius Asmo. Um, Chalcedony is also here as well as yours truly. IB Don C is also here. Hey, Don, how's the puppies doing? Puppies. I love puppies. Well, anything baby. Even little baby lizards. My grandkids I got a picture letting me see their baby lizard. Oh, those kids, they have almost as much of a zoo as I do. Moving along, moving along. Uh, Meister Bra, hey Woody, how you doing? I also see a ponder gander in here. You're going to be gandering at that ponder later? Huh? You think? Um, Johnny versus the newsman. Mmm. <laughs> <clears throat> okay, moving along. I'm, I'm, catching the chat while I'm trying to say hey. The lovely Kate is also here as well as rain. You know, right, right now I would much rather have rain than all of this white stuff because rain is just a little bit easier to drive in depending on how hard it's coming down. But just, I know, I'm just whiny. It's like, dang it, I just can't be happy, huh? <laughs> sure I can. I'm just tired of snow. That's all there is to it. I'm ready for spring, for it to spring sprung. Looky there, Rob Works is here, and he fired up that bubbler. Booyah! Thank you, Rob. Little cybernetic toke. Um, aren't you listening? I have no idea. Hmm, okay. Let's move it along, move it along. Uh, light trigger seizures. Do, 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 do. What is that? Oh, oh, cool. Yeah. Snow reflecting off of, uh, or sunlight reflecting off of snow is not necessarily cool. Although this morning, man, the full moon reflecting on the snow on my tree, it was really very pretty. It really was. It was very cold, so I didn't stay outside long, but yeah. In any case, moving along. Moving along. Rome's is here. Hi, Rome's. How you doing, hon? I also see Vinny. See, that's a double dose because Vinny and the Ponder Gander are alter egos of each other. I haven't decided yet which one's the evil twin and which one's not. But, you know, sometimes it's still kind of a toss-up. I know for myself it is. I also see Phantom is here as well as Beetle. Hey, Beetle. How's Pippi? Is she in your lap? I'll promise not to do nothing to make her run away crying. Um, Dakota, way up there in the white, white, white north, learn to speak, Grammy, enunciate. I also see Frumpy, another one from the great white frozen tundra, although Moosey is there as well, I think. <laughs> uh, Gromit is here, and looky there, Java, 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 Java Doctor 2, and JJ's, how's things going, JJ's? I hope you're keeping the draft from going up the kilt. That's not cool. 
<laughs> hey, Kozu, how you doing, hun? And look, kiss. Mwah, smackers. Ooh, I'll bet you that come across really weird sounding on the radio. <laughs> Moi, 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 moi is also here as well as Ninsan Dubois and Tech Man. Tech Man, who eats snow? I eat snow, just not yellow snow. Oh well, moving along. And to round out the crew, the one, the only, the Van Meter. Hey, Donna, how you doing, hun? Um, oh, you don't, yeah, you know, you can't do that anymore. It's like, oh man, I don't know if I want to. Yeah, all the stuff that they're putting in the skies. I don't know that I'd want to eat snow. And that's really kind of sad. Because, you know, when we were kids, it was like, of course, maybe that's why I am the way I am now. I am what I am. It's kind of scary, ain't it? Okay, over here in the red pill, for those that are not in the RLM, who's in the red pill? Apostle is over here, as well as F. Canella. And Juana Taco and Soily are also over here in the Red Pill. So, hey there, hi there, ho there, guys. Hope you're having an awesome day. Yes, Moosey is ready for spring, too. I'm, yeah, spring, too, the thawing. <laughs> That's an excellent movie idea, don't you think? I think it is. Okay. Moving along. Yeah, don't eat the snow. Don't eat the slush either. That's no. No, don't eat the slush. Okay. So. Dun, 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 dun. Holy carp. What? What? Oh, no. This is, it's nothing to do with me. Okay. People are bickering on a thing that I commented on, and now it's all showing up in my Twitter notifications and it's like okay fine you know socialism communism anything that's got ism on the back of it odds are it's not going to be a real pleasant situation looks good on paper yeah put it in practice not so much basically because you get umans involved and there's always someone that gets that little power trip thing going on and next thing you know bada bing bada boom that's why we can't have nice things around here hate when that happens okay part of the reason why we can't have nice things around here rob works shared this i think it was rob works over on the rlm from lifesitenews.com a blog from jonathan van maren hmm this was posted two days ago. Transgender insanity. Yeah, you thought wackadoodle Wednesday just meant, you know, oh, well, you know, there are people out there that need to be whacked upside the head. Well, although that may be true, <laughs> with like a really big Nerf bat, because I don't really want to, I, but yeah, Nerf bat, bam. I like pillow fights. Did I say that? <laughs> Oh, well, this is from February the 18th. You know that there's a story uh, that circulated during the Cold War about the, uh, or about a Soviet judge who's been, or who was seen walking back to his chambers, chuckling heartily. His colleague approached him and asked him what was so funny. And he said, oh, just a hilarious joke I heard, the judge replied. Well, go ahead and tell me, his colleague said. Oh, I couldn't do that, said the Soviet judge. I just gave someone 10 years for it. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. See? Yeah, they laugh about it because they are grown men wandering around in black bathrobes in public. And they have a hammer. Okay, they call it a gavel, but still. They like banging things. So, <clears throat> take that however you wish. I was reminded of this little anecdote when I spotted a story in the Edinburgh News last week, gravely titled, Edinburgh Laborer Shouted Abuse at Transgender Woman. Well, it turns out that Graham Spears, a father of two and construction worker employed at the St. James Construction Site, was walking past a pub in Bonnington, Edinburgh with a few buddies. When they passed a transgender woman, a biological male, 
Although the journalist writing the story goes to great lengths to make it sound as if Spears was screaming at the apparent victim, Spears and his friends were specifically accused of pointing and laughing at the person. Okay, I snicker at peop- you know, the man bun thing. Yeah, I snicker at that. I, sometimes I don't keep it to a snicker, but there you go. In any case, the men being or the man being laughed at suspected that he was being mocked for his appearance. As fiscal um fiscal depute whatever that is, Rosie Cook told the uh, Edinburgh Sheriff's Court that the complainer thought the laughing and pointing was in reference to her gender transition. Now, the transgender person then did what anyone would do if someone laughed at them. He promptly called the police. Who takes such things very seriously these days? Yeah, like anyone, yeah. And the Edinburgh News, straining to make it sound as if the beery chuckles of a few construction workers really were a big deal, referred to the incident as an unprovoked verbal assault on her... Okay. Now, the sheriff informed Spears that his sense of humor had no place in today's society and that his laughing and pointing were so unacceptable that he was required to pay the man he had laughed at 500 pounds. Uh, what? That's in compensation for inferring by his laughter that the man did not look like a woman. Okay, the man did not look like a woman. Okay, you know, you do realize that, oh crap, if you um, were to go to a circus these days, they no longer have a freak show, and you know why? Because those people just plain ain't freaky deaky enough. That's just all there is to it. Just saying. <laughs> really? Seriously? Wow. Yeah, that con... Um, So, the Edinburgh News referred to the incident as a confrontation, despite the fact that the groups simply walked past each other, and Spears was actually arrested five days later, his uh, misplaced mirth, for his misplaced mirth. And the lawyer for the transgender complainant stated solemnly that, excuse me, Spears now understands that his actions have been disturbing for the complainer. Wow. People have lost all sense of humor. You realize that, don't you? Learn to laugh at yourself first. And then it's a lot easier laughing at others. But yeah, excuse me. Laughing at yourself is, is key to happiness. Now, apparently, Sheriff Robert Fife also piled on and informed Spears that your offensive comments were not funny at the time and are not funny now. Your children should grow up understanding gender differences and should be ashamed at your behavior that comes from a different era and has no place in today's society. Well, maybe it's t- today's society that's messed up. Do you ever stop and think about that? Uh, Sheriff Fife, Sheriff Fife, guess what? Barney finally got a promotion. He had to go to Edinburgh to get it, but he did. Barney got a promotion. I wonder if he still has one bullet in his pocket. Apparently, Fife then told Spears that in addition to the cash he had to pay to the biological man for laughing at him, he also had to pay an additional fine of another 500 pounds. So in other words, if someone has no sense of humor, it's going to cost you money. Well, how dare they? Now, when you consider this situation for a moment, <clears throat> excuse me, a construction worker laughs at a biological man attempting to become a woman. Sure, we can agree that laughing at someone is a rude way to deal with any situation. Oh, no, I can't agree with that at all. Sorry, no. But it was laughing, and yeah, quite frankly, laughing. It's not like he was throwing crap at you. Now, Spears was laughing because the man posing as a woman was very obviously not pulling it off, which happens to be true for most of those who are attempting to force the rest of us to play along with their delusions. 
delusions. And for that, for laughing, he was quite literally arrested. Hmm. Told by law enforcement that he had no right to find such a thing funny. Or to pay the transgender person an exorbitant amount of money for hurting his feelings. I didn't know feelings had a price tag. Apparently they do. And then pay more on top of that because, well, you know, government's got to have its cut. Damn it. I'll bet you they go and hit up the uh, himshi, however you want to call that. I bet they hit them up and say, uh, you got to pay us a cut too. Probably in taxes. Hmm. Now, it's disgusting enough that law enforcement would arrest and charge someone for this triviality. That alone indicates that freedom in Scotland is truly dead. Are you hearing this, JJ's? Honey. Don't go. Well, I guess you can wear a kilt because a kilt's really not called a dress. It's a kilt. It's a guy skirt. See, I would probably get arrested. I better not ever go to Scotland because I'll bet I'll get arrested for saying that over there. <laughs> Oopsie. Oh, well, but the fact that law enforcement then lectured Spears for being a throwback from a different age, that different age or different era being about a decade ago for the record, and uh, telling him that his children should be ashamed of him, and that Spears was expected to cower and listen to this tongue lashing from his betters so he could get re-educated and realize that men could now become women and that laughing at their attempts was forbidden by law. <sighs> Man's laws. <clears throat> now, that should absolutely repulse any liberty-loving person and terrify everyone who values freedom. As I wrote last week, the transgender movement has to impose their ideology on the rest of us with the power of the state because it's not a grassroots movement. Most ordinary people still find the entire phenomenon absurd. And there are even a few construction workers out there with the gall to chuckle at a man attempting to be a woman after they've had a few beers. But be careful. Your chuckles might end up putting you in handcuffs. Yeah, you know, well, unless, you know, you like that whole handcuff thing and then, hey, whatever floats your boat between two consenting adults. But, wow, really? Wow. Y'all are just freaking nuts. If that ain't wackadoodle enough for you, I have no clue what is. But that's, to me... Just insane in the membrane. And I understand that there are some people that have an actual genetic issue where, you know, the chromosomes, they were, their chromosomes say they're one thing, but they, their body says they're another thing as in the external physicality of it. But man, this whole on a whim crap. You must respect my whims. Don't make me feel bad or it's gonna, I'm gonna rob you. Following orders. Enforcing the law. Enforcing. Mm. Man, how stupid can you get? Seriously. Ay, 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 ay. Um, I'm going to go ahead and put this in here again just in case people did not see it posted the first time. Oh, Edinburgh. Thank you, Grim, for correcting me. I'm sure JJ's will give me all kind of static later, too, about that because I don't speak Scottish. I've tried the accent a time or two, and it's not purdy. <laughs> It's just not pretty at all. Oh, I see Vinny jumped. Oh, Vinny was here, but Vinny is now chitty chatting. Um, what? Oh, Vinny's chasing squirrels. Vinny, honey, TMI. <laughs> Squirrel. Okay, wow, holy carpinoli. 
What did I ever do to get that many? Um, I'm just scrolling over here. Um, sending, by the way, sending lots of prayers out to Terrence K. Williams. Apparently, um, he is in the hospital right now. Uh, fractured neck and back, some spine issues. And at, from what he says on his Twitter post, my Lyft driver almost flew off the bridge. I'll be staying at the hospital for a few days. Dang. Dang. Sending out love, dude. I like Terrence K. Williams. He's, he's funny. And man, he don't pull no punches. He just calls them as he sees them. Which is like, yeah. Um, oh my goodness, yeah, people are going nuts. There, and basically, this is on a a, a tweet that uh, Jeremiah Harding posted over here on Twitter, and it's uh, something that a gentleman uh, recorded a police officer who had pulled him over for speeding. Now he eventually told him it was for speeding after. After he got abusive and all authorita on him. And this gentleman finally was able to start recording the altercation. And that's when the trooper pulled a gun on him and put it to his head and just pretty much let him know, you will get out of the vehicle for freaking speeding. Even though he wouldn't even tell him that it was for speeding in the first place. So, mm, mm. Yeah, I have a hard time with that kind of stuff. <clears throat> and these people that are jumping in there and saying, you should have just done what he said. Why? Why? A uh, overly officious asshat? You have to do what they tell you to do just because they say, oh, that's right. They have the magic uniform with the shiny badge and a gun. Yeah. Isn't that just special? Hmm. You know, and I... Mm, 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 mm. It's not pretty. Oh, well. It's going on and on and on, and I'm getting all kind of notifications about it, so I'm just going to kind of move along. Actually, here is the... Um, well, I'll tell you what. I'll just read this real quick, because this is freaking whacked. It's from the freethoughtproject.com, or that's where... Uh, Jeremiah, the link that he shared. Um, it is video shows cop hold gun to man's head over alleged speeding ticket. So, this is in Lewes, Delaware, L E W E S. Probably said that wrong too. That's okay. A disturbing video was brought to the attention of the Free Thought Project this week showing a Delaware state trooper point his gun at the head of a man over a stop for an alleged speeding ticket. Luckily, the victim, Mac Buckley, um, or luckily for the victim, Mac Buckley, he was not shot and decided to film his altercation or interaction, catching his assault with a deadly weapon on video. Now, the incident took place last week as Buckley was driving to his mother's home in Luz. And according to Buckley, as he was traveling down the highway, he passed a trooper traveling toward him in the opposite lane, who then did a U-turn after they passed each other and began following him. Now, the trooper never turned on his lights and for two miles, and according to Buckley, he simply followed him. Eventually, the officer turned on his lights and stopped him for allegedly speeding. Now, Buckley explained that, that the trooper, who he identified as Corporal O'Neill with Troop 7, argued with him for two to three minutes over why he was stopped. When Buckley tried to record, he said that the trooper told him he couldn't. Excuse me? Now, this immediately set off alarms, which made Buckley want to film even more. Buckley admits that he was questioning the officer and said that he didn't want to give him his license and registration until he told him why he was pulled over. And that's when, according to Buckley, the trooper demanded he get out of the car. Buckley, still wanting to know an actual reason as to why he was pulled over, said no. Oopsie. Now at this point is when Buckley starts filming. 
Buckley tells us that the officer took a call on his radio after Buckley refused to exit the vehicle, and so he had a chance to start the recording. Now, as the video shows, the trooper is talking on the radio before turning his attention back to Buckley. And when Buckley refuses to once more get out before hearing the real reason for the stop, the trooper pulls his gun out and aims it directly at his head. Now, while Buckley should have obeyed the officer's commands to exit the vehicle, he was peacefully wanting his questions answered and did not want or did not warrant such a potential deadly response. But officers are trained to escalate through various means of force and as we see in the video, he had no reason to point a gun at this man's head. Now as the officer holds the pistol on Buckley's head, he then slams the phone out of his or slaps the phone out of his hand, making sure there would be no more documentation of this incident. What happened to the body cams that these guys are supposed to be wearing? As the, um, did, did, did. So, why are you pulling a gun on me, Buckley asks, as the officer pulls him from the vehicle. I've done nothing wrong. The brief video only shows the moment that the officer got off his radio until he yanked Buckley from the car. However, Buckley tells the Free uh, Thought Project that his phone kept recording for 30 more minutes. Buckley explained that once he was in the back of the cruiser, the trooper began throwing out racist remarks. And in a Facebook post, Buckley explained how this unfolded. On the way to the trooper, he kept referring to you people. I asked him who was you people since there was only him and I in the vehicle. Then he proceeded to say I was a worthless piece of shite. Then... Uh, he then said, you probably didn't finish high school. You're a piece of shite. And he wouldn't give a flying F-bomb if you people died tomorrow. I asked him again who you people were. And he said, society. And I said, what society? It's just you and me in the vehicle. Then he proceeds to tell me. Oh, go ahead and play the race card, to which I replied, I never said anything about race. I asked you who you were refu referring to when you said, you people. The only question I asked you is why you pulled me over. Now, showing the entirely unnecessary nature of the stop is the fact that Buckley was given three minor offenses and a resisting arrest charge, which... um. Resisting arrest, that's one of those things where if they tell you get out of the car and, and you say no, then you're resisting because they have a fancy uniform and shiny badge and gun. All of this over a speeding ticket stop. Buckley says that one of the offenses was speeding and the other two were for expired insurance and registration, both of which he says are false. The, heart, the charges held so little water that he was released on unsecured bond and the arrest was not even entered in the database on the public website. And they have a link to the public website. So, I wonder if there's going to be any kind of recourse for the officer that went a little on the overachiever side. I don't know. I don't know. That's a little bit on the cray cray side. So, hmm. I'm going to put this also over here on the effing side because it's so much easier for me to just. I can do the little emoticons and it's. That's. That. That is freaking wackadoodle. And that is officious asshat on steroids. Pretty much. Let me see if I can find a little wee 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 red light thing. There we go. That's the one I want. Okay. Now, I do have one other.
Actually, I threw lots of stuff into my pocket, but I wasn't real sure which one I wanted to go to. But I think I'll go with this one, just because I had a thought pop into my head when I saw this headline. And I'll, I'll, I'll run it past you. This is from Ars Tech arstechnica.com arstechnica.com and the headline is Netflix, Amazon, and Hollywood Studios shut down maker of free TV box now I have a question here and you yeah, color me crazy I have lots of crayons and I have my blankie fort I can go hang out in if I wish to I even have colored chalk but why is it only people in the uh, entertainment industry continue to get paid for work that they have completed now hear me out on this some people might think that this is a rhetorical question but actually this is this goes towards that whole copyright BS which I think a lot of that is BS um, why is it that you know they make a make a, a write a song do a movie uh, you know stuff like that uh, just just for those right off the top of my head I mean I also think of reading a book and all this stuff but um, not only like with movies or with music not only do they get paid up front which yeah all the little leeches and the hangers on get their cut as well but you get paid up front for your creativity and for your performance and when you perform you know at concerts or when when things are shown again at a movie theater okay fine you if you negotiate the contract properly you get paid for that as well I get that when I make something for someone or I make something and I sell it I don't get paid every time they use it or wear it unlike you know, like with music you know apparently there are royalties and and all kinds of other things that you have to pay if you want to play a song on the radio you guys already made the song you already put it on a disc or whatever it is y'all put it on these days and you're selling those as well and yet you gotta you know same thing with the movies you know people are buying DVDs or renting movies or what have you and yet you still want to get paid more that just doesn't make sense to me I mean sure in a in a greedy capitalistic kind of way and trust me I I don't really have a problem with capitalism per se because quite frankly it's better than the other ones out there not much it's what I grew up with so naturally I'm probably going to prefer it but wow why is it that you guys keep getting paid and paid and paid and paid and paid and paid and you demand others pay you or you shut people down like this? If I make a, a sweater or a scarf for someone, do I get to charge them every time they wear it then? Because I made that. I made that. It took my, my intellectual property to make that because a lot of times... I do the pattern myself. I mean, I'll see a pattern in a book, but they never, they never work out the way I like them. So I'm always tweaking them. It's kind of like recipes. I don't go by real recipes because I always tweak that stuff. So once I tweak it, it becomes mine or my intellectual property changed that in some way. And so as far as I'm concerned, if y'all get paid every time somebody listens to a song or, or every time somebody watches a movie or any of this other fun stuff, then why shouldn't I get paid for every time somebody eats out of the jar of pickles that I made? Uh, sure, I sold them that jar of pickles, but you know, every time they open it up in the fridge, I should get a royalty from that. I should get paid for that every time they wore that scarf or that sweater or whatever it is that I made for them. By gosh and by golly, shouldn't just be the entertainment industry. Don't give me that intellectual property stuff because you can't tell me that there wasn't anyone else on this world that influenced you in one way or another. You do not become creative in a vacuum. It just... it irks me to no end that these people well you're pirating dude 
You already made some money off of it. You already got paid for what you put into it. And you're getting paid again and again and again and again. And now, instead of looking at it as, hey, I'm getting free advertisement. This guy's watching this and they're telling these people or they're, or this person's listening to my stuff and they're sharing it with friends and now my friends will go out and buy it. No, you can't look at it like that. It just, can you tell it irks me just a little bit? Just a little? In any case, this article says, The entertainment industry has scored a very big victory over the maker of a free TV box that helped users watch pirated video. Dragon Media Inc., whose Dragon Box device connects to TVs and let, excuse me, lets users watch video without a cable TV or streaming service subscription, has agreed to shut down the Dragon Box services and pay $14.5 million in damages to plaintiffs from the entertainment industry. Dragon Media was sued in January of last year by Netflix, Amazon, Columbia Pictures, Disney, Paramount, 20th Century Fox, Universal, and Warner Brothers. Dragon Media's lawyer initially predicted that the lawsuit would backfire on the entertainment industry, but the Dragon Box maker must have decided it was, had little chance of winning at trial. The plaintiffs and defendant filed a proposed settlement Monday in U.S. District Court for the Central District of California. And the settlement requires Dragon Media to cease all operation of the Dragon Box system and related services within five days. Under the settlement, um, judgment shall be entered against defendants and in favor of plaintiffs on plaintiffs' claims of copyright infringement and damages shall be awarded to plaintiffs in the amount of $14,500,000 U.S. dollars. Now, Dragon Media, Dragon Media owned by Paul Cristoforo and reseller Jeff Williams, shall be further enjoined from operating any website, system, software, or service that is substantially similar to the Dragon Box service. The settlement also prohibits the defendants from making any source code or other technology available to others. So, in other words, don't open source it, Captain Assholios. Apparently, they previously shut down Tickbox. In a case... Um, dun, 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 dun. Okay, the plaintiffs in the case are part of the Alliance for Creativity and Entertainment, or ACE which has been trying to stamp out piracy of its members' content. You already did the work, people. You already got paid once. How many times do you need to get paid for working once? I know. I have a weird way of looking at things. Now, Ace is pleased that the agreement will ensure the immediate shutdown of the illegal Dragon Box system. An Ace spokesperson said, according to Variety, that the theft of creative content is a pervasive threat to the dynamic legal marketplace for movie and television content. And Ace will continue its global efforts to advance creativity. You know, <clears throat> you guys are all Captain Ass Holios as far as I'm concerned. Now, in September of 2018, ACE members scored another favorable settlement over the maker of a similar streaming device called Tickbox, winning a permanent injunction and $25 million in damages. Uh, before agreeing to the settlement, Dragon Media argued that it was merely facilitating access to online content rather than providing pirated TV itself. The entertainment industry plaintiff's complaint proved or provided a much different description, saying that Dragon Media provided custom software to help users of its device obtain pirated content. In other words, we're not getting our cut, and we don't like that. And see, that's the ugly side of capitalism. Uh, you got to pay me, pay me, pay me, pay me. Sure, I had a thought once, but you got to keep paying me for that. Does that sound like extortion to you? Sounds like extortion to me. 
Now, Dragon Media temporarily stopped sales after the lawsuit was filed last year, but later devices to change its business model moved from a Kodi add-on platform subscription-based services. So Torrent, Fre Torrent Freak wrote that today. Now, first it moved to Blend TV and a few months later to My TV Hub. However, the settlement requires Dragon Media to shut down both Blend TV and My TV Hub at the same time that it shuts down the Dragon Box service. The settlement defines the Dragon Box service as the hardware devices preloaded with copyright infringing software, add ons, programs, applications, and all related services that defendant marketed, promoted, sold, and supported. The settlement defines Blend TV as the copyright infringing software programs, application, and services that transmit or otherwise communicate television programs and motion pictures over the internet that defendant marketed, promoted, sold, and supported. Yada, 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 blah, blah, blah. I want my cut. You go away since you won't give it to me. That's the way I read that. So, uh, Rob, I'm not calling you that, honey. <laughs> okay, now that I've gotten through that, you know what? I got time to go and check out the pig. Hmm, because I need something to chuckle about, because that just really chaps my hide. I mean, cry many Christmas. I did not develop my opinions or garner what knowledge I have in a vacuum. How can I call copyright on anything? Because everything I've got is from somewhere else. Yeah, it gets put together in my brain, but other than that, I've been influenced by every single individual I have encountered, whether it's in books or music or movies or TV or in person or on the Internet. Copyright infringement. Kiss my... Word of the day, Italian driver. That's an unsafe at any speed genre of road warrior that views traffic signals, signs, and statutes as suggestions. Oh, hey. In the quotable quotes section, you don't have to justify your existence by sacrificing or giving to others. You don't have to justify your existence at all. All you need to do is take responsibility for your existence. This means your personal happiness and serenity as well as your physical well-being. If you're not a mooch, a whiner, a guilt inducer, or a complainer, you're in good shape. You have nothing to feel guilty or uneasy about. Thank you, Dr. Hurd, for letting me know that I already realized that, but thank you. Once again, okay, this date in history, the 20th of February, 1947, City of Angels road tests a dangerous form of urban renewal when a chemical mixing error sets off explosion that wipes out 42 city blocks. Oopsie, I can hear Urkel now, or maybe Urkel's grandfather. Did I do that? <laughs> Oops, I bet that was a copyright infringement. <laughs> and lastly, the 20th of February, 1971. Oops! <laughs> My bad! <laughs> Uncle Sam's National Emergency Center shuts down boob tube and boom box stations erroneously. Nobody catches the air for 30 minutes. Oops! Well, obviously, people weren't quite so glued to those things back then. Unfortunately, they are now. Yeah. So, wow, I am just about out of time. See, bada bing, bada boom, I made it all the way through all that. With barely a hello. Oh. I just got a text. I'm going to have to check that out here in just a little bit. Holy carp. Uh, so what's going on? They're not suggestions? No, Rob, they're not suggestions. They're just... Hmm. 
There are people that are stamping their foot. They are being petulant little toddlers. I want mine. I, I had a thought. You know, it reminds me of, of someone over on Facebook that um, was in a, one of the group pages that I was in and don't go there anymore. Basically because of him because he just freaking irritated me. He was constantly posting on there. And then every time he would post something, he would put his name on the bottom. And I finally just said, why do you always put your name on the bottom? Because it shows you're the one that posted it. And he said, I'm copywriting it for later. And I went, seriously? <laughs> seriously, dude? Whoa. People that are that self-important. Mm. You know what? Your words came from somewhere. You don't own those words. That dictionary was here a long time before you was born, honey. You don't own those words. You may have you may have put them together in the arrangement that they are in right there, but you don't own those words. Oi. Oi, that just makes me crazy, can you tell? Oh well. Y'all been listening to the Rocket Chair here on this wacka 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 doodle Wednesday. Um oh Jesse's Molette has been indicted by a grand jury for felony false police report. Ah, uh, can we have a collective ah? Uh, okay, don't. Don't don't go out of your way. If you don't feel it, don't do it. I'm not going to incite lying. I just can't. Just like if you're not sorry, don't apologize. Cuz then you're just lying. Don't do it. There's entirely too many liars in this world. Cripes, all you got to do is look at Twitter and you can see all kind of craziness going on over there and you think Dude, seriously, do you have to brush your mouth every time? Brush your teeth? Here, you just spouted another load of fertilizer. Have a breath mint. Wow. Yeah. And some of the things people say. Oi, you kiss your mama with that mouth? Even when you touch... Mm -mm. you, you go and touch your mama with that? Ugh, golly. There's some crazy people out there. There really are. Oh, well. Thank you all for listening in on this wacka 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 wack wacka doodle Wednesday. Uh, let's see what's going on later on RLM. Chuck Coachelli is on. As soon as I get done here, he's going to be on for the Ocello Ocelli effect on channel 14. Actually, he's on Monday through Saturday. He only takes one day off. That's because he's an overachiever. That's, that's just all there is to it. Way to go, Chuck. Also... Tomorrow at 6 p.m. Eastern Time, Flash Somebody will be on with 20% off. Don't trust him. Don't trust him because you know what? Flash is one of them. They're Jewy guys. You know, well, he's only half, but still. he If he tells you it's 20% off, watch out because I'll bet he marked it up 25%. Before I marked it down 20. I know, Flasher. I'm giving you static because I haven't played with you on the dork table in like forever. So I have to give you static now when you can't fight back. <laughs> I'm kind of naughty like that. Also, Friday at 1 p.m. Eastern Time, a ponder gander with Vinny on RLM radio. I'll be back Friday. Um, same wackadoodle time, but it'll be a freaky time uh, for the Friday edition of the Rocket Chair. And then Chuck Ocelli is on from 8 p.m. Eastern to 10 p.m. Eastern with the Ocelli Effect. And at 11 p.m. Eastern time will be the Freaker's Ball with Grimmy and Moose Girl. So yeah, Friday is going to be a fun-filled and full day on RLM Radio. Then Saturday at noon Eastern Time, the dork table where God only knows what they're going to talk about. And uh, let me think. Hopefully, unless a co-worker goes into labor, I might actually be home Saturday. So I may have to give Flash some static on that one. Um, let's see. Then Sunday at noon Eastern Time is Grimner with the blues. Closely followed by Hal Anthony, who's going to open up a can of whoop-ass on yo ass behind the woodshed. All kinds of cool stuff coming up here on RLM Radio. Uh, let me see. Do what? Who are you talking about questioning and stuff? I'm checking out here. 
Oh, AOC faces ethics questions after reports show she paid her boyfriend. <laughs> paid him for what? Oh, I ans don't answer that. Don't I? I don't want to know. That child just does not impress me. She doesn't even impress me enough to even want to banter back at her. It's like, really? Stop giving her attention. That's what she wants. That's what she wants. Oh, well. I am out of time. So y'all have an absolutely amazing rest of your evening, and I hope tomorrow is just equally splendiferous and warmer for those of us that have been in the burr zone. I hope it is warmer. Come on, global warming. Because it, it, someone broke the thermostat. Turn it up just a wee bit, please. I appreciate it. And, uh, yeah, I may catch up with you tomorrow when I get off work or not. I may be delinquent. But I will see you on Friday. Until then, please remember, I truly do love you all. And I wish you all enough. Good night.